I got a comment a while ago and this lady was like, is that all the clothes you have? And I didn't take it, bring you over here. I didn't take it in a offensive way, but I did, but I did think about that. Cause I was like, wait, I feel like I have a lot of clothes and surely, um, one, two, what, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Three spaces for hanging clothes, three drawers, shoes, uh, two storage cubes. That's more than enough clothes to me. That's actually too many clothes. So, so I'm starting to do this again. I'm starting to say I have nothing to wear. And when that happens, that means that I have to go through my wardrobe and decide what I want to look like for the next season. And I did not always do this. This is actually something that was life changing for me because I always want to look cute. But I feel like when it's time to put an outfit together, I'm always like, uh, so that's going to change. So what I've done is pulled my clothing rack. This is an inexpensive clothing rack that I purchased from Ikea a long time ago when I first started um, making this room into like a wardrobe room. And I have pulled out all of the new clothes that I purchased recently, which is up here. And then all of my older clothes are back here. So in the middle, I have my bottoms and back here actually is just things that was drying. And I use a spreadsheet to understand what's in my closet because I find that I keep buying the same thing. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's say black jackets, right? Okay, black jackets. One black leather jacket. Two black leather jackets. Both of them have gold buttons. One's more of a biker look. Three, you see what I'm saying? I keep buying the same stuff. So what I'm doing here is I'm separating all of the like items. So. Back here, I have all my white tops and I'm not categorizing them yet. This is just anything that's white and that's a top. And then I'm just kind of going along and doing the same thing. Look, black jacket, which this one, I, I don't want to give it away, but I don't wear it. I think because I spent like $300 on it, I don't want to give it away. But that's not smart. <laughs> if you don't wear it, why keep it? It could look really good on somebody else. And this is BCBG. Is it? Yeah, BCBG. So pretty much still in good quality, but I don't wear it. And I'm just going to do the same thing to all my other pieces. Look, black vest, black blazer. And this is really going to help me understand what's in my closet. And it's never a flex to have a lot of clothes. I find that the people that have the most clothes one, don't wear all of them. Two, a lot of them are not even in season anymore. And three, it's taking up space that they could be using for something else. So now you want to move because you have let your closet um, take over your house. Not a good idea. So I want to show you my technique when it comes to clothing and how you can have a lot but have a little. Basically building a capsule wardrobe. Because if you think about it, when you go to like, um, now I brought you too close. You step back here. You stay there. You stay there. Okay. If you think about it, when you go to like a Chick-fil-A, right? And you order something. They only have about six things on the menu. The more stuff you have, the more complicated things become. I'm learning that in my life, personally and professionally. I want to do more with less. Yes, because I have way too much stuff. I have way too many things going on and I need to simplify it and make sure I keep the most important things first. So that's what I'm going to do with this wardrobe. I'm going to siphon out all these other little, I call them supporting pieces. They're not the main character of the outfit. They just kind of help, but they're not necessarily accessories. And I'll give you an example. Like I have a bunch of little small shirts. Same kind of concept, just different colors, different styles, different textures. And I don't wear all of them because really there's no need to. What I should be looking to invest in is things like, you know, this type of sweater. I wear this sweater 
with multiple things and it always looks flattering on me because I know that my body type looks really good with a v-neck no matter what it is a v-neck really does me well and it's because my face is long so I'm literally about to edit this wardrobe to make sure I have my staple pieces standing out minimize my supporting pieces and then just kind of go through and see what have I worn and what have I not worn so I'm going to show you that now all right, let's get it. So let's see, I have this faux leather brown top, a sequence brown top, and then I have a cami, which I don't even wear camis anymore. I don't know who wear camis. Let me know if you still wearing camis, but I know I don't. So this can go. It's waste. All right, so as you can see, I have pretty much one, two, three, four, five colors in my wardrobe. Browns, whites, blacks, beige, olive green. Boring. <laughs> and then I have like the pieces that I showed you that I'm not going to keep. And then I have these floral kind of tops. Um, one graphic tee. And then this corset that I bought and had never worn. Actually, I think, yeah, still has the tag on it. Zara. So. I need to really assess what I have. This is where you start in any process, whatever you're doing, you have to assess what you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, organizing all of my clothing real quick. Definitely want to try on my clothes to see if I still like them. And what I'm doing is I'm sorting by what I like. Because some of these clothes, when I look at them, I, I kind of like get, get this. Um, why am I stuttering? I get this kind of ugh feeling. Those clothes immediately have to go. I don't care how much I pay for it. Like If it kind of gives me that ugh feeling, got to go. <laughs> got to go. This is one of them. Um, Still has a tag on it. Bought it. Thought that I would like it. For some reason, I just cannot get with it. Wish I've seen this on a TV show. Um, and I was like, hey, I got the same jacket. Because it's like a three-quarter length. And then this uh, sleeves have zippers. So, I don't know. Now this, I was going to get rid of this. I got this from Target. And mm, it's kind of oversized looking. But there's an outfit that I had in mind. So I'm going to try that outfit on. And if I like it, this jacket stays. If not, it got to go. Because that's that's my last hope for it. If this outfit don't work, I don't really think I have any use for it. So let's try an outfit and see if this jacket is going to stay. All right. I'm going to try a monochromatic look. I don't think you can go wrong with black, especially when you have, you know, different finishes. And the fact that the lining of this jacket is black, I think it might pull together. But see, here's the thing. I don't like that it's so boxy. I really wish that it had like a little bit of a shape to it. And I think that this outfit is actually cute by itself. And I purchased this bag, this tote bag for $12.99. And it looks good with it too. But you let me know what you think. Should I keep this jacket or no? Nah? And then should I keep this light jacket to go with these trousers? Let me know. The tote. What are we thinking? See or no? If you have been waiting for a house to have like a formal wardrobe and to treat your clothes, you know, special, make a special place for them, I hope that I'm showing you that you do not have to wait, okay? Literally, you can get a $13 clothing rack. Now, I bought this a long time ago before inflation inflated. But you can find inexpensive clothing racks uh, at Ikea, on Amazon. And like I said, this one is real easy to assemble. So once I'm finished, I'm going to disassemble it and put it back up. You can slide it underneath the bed, behind a mirror like I do. But this helps you pretty much go through your wardrobe. And I, I took this idea from retail because I used to work in retail. They bring it out on a roller rack. 
and they go through everything. They pull stuff that, that they don't want to sell anymore. Um, maybe it's going to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and they put the new stuff out. You could do the same thing at your house. So these are all the pieces that I just don't love anymore. They are well taken care of, but I just don't like them. So when you are trying to create a new wardrobe and you can't figure out how to get that style, start with assessing what you have first. And the first thing I did was I categorized by color and then I organized by likes. You know, I didn't even say, okay, does this fit? Oh no, do I like it? Because if I don't like it, why is it in my closet? Makes no sense. And then uh, I looked at the quality so some of the black tops that I had were a little fuzzy, um, had like some uh, kind of like a dull look to it. So those had to go and then, you know, duplicates of things that I just haven't worn that had to go. Um, Ill fitting jeans, jeans that had stitching coming out of it, which, by the way, count your days, Zara. That's the new saying, count your days. They definitely need to count their days because Zara has the worst quality jeans I think I've ever purchased. I've had Walmart jeans to hold up better than Zara jeans. Not to mention, you get this little nasty pooch. And I'm over here thinking that I need to like go harder in the gym. You know, oh, I'm just getting a little bit older. Maybe I'm getting a little pooch. No, Zara will have you really, really out here thinking that you doing something wrong. They have these, let me zip this up so you can see it. So I was in uh, Aritzia and I was checking out, we were talking about just, you know, fashion and whatnot. And I was saying, yeah, I'm really trying to like upgrade my denim because I had that gap in the back, which on the next video, I will go over my favorite jeans for girls with gaps in the back. Um, but Zara jeans, mm -mm. look at this. Just look at this. Ain't no way. I was going to keep these jeans, but then the more I looked at them, I'm like, these jeans are terrible. Stitching missing. The, the, okay, you see this? Look, it's supposed to be distressed, but they're beyond distressed. Like, this is like, <laughs> toe up, toe up. I didn't buy it like this. Um, it just, <laughs> just did not hold up at all. And they were small slits. So, do yourself a favor. Stay away from Zara jeans. Um, Cause like I said, they give you that nasty little pooch and I'm not saying that, you know, if you have a pooch, it's nasty, but if you don't have one, I'm pretty sure you don't want to buy one. You get what I'm saying? And these jeans were not cheap. So these will probably go to the Goodwill. Maybe somebody want to distress them or I don't know. Another pair of Zara jeans that I purchased were these and they have the, uh, stitching kind of missing not as bad as these but I didn't wear these as much here's a new outfit that I purchased from Abercrombie and Fitch and I like it but when I brought it home I was like mm, I can't see myself wearing this it's just too pink I think I like the skirt like the idea of the skirt with maybe like a, a different shirt and like stout or yeah no just the skirt I think it's just the skirt and I really bought the skirt first and I went back and I got the top to match. But now that I got it both in my space, I'm like, mm, not me. So just be aware of what you look good in. The colors that I look the best in, of course, black, white, olive, cream, brown, um, denim, basic colors. Basic colors look the best on me and sometimes green, but not this green, not this green right here. No, this is, it's, see, you have to know yourself, like for real, for real. This is not me. It took me a long time to realize that this is not me. This is somebody else, but it's not me. I think knowing what you feel good in and what you look good in is probably half the battle of a wardrobe. Yeah, this is, this is not me. All right. So we went through everything. And on the end of this garment rack, we have all of the, the tosses, things that is not going to stay in my wardrobe. Here's another example. I don't know if you can see like the, yeah, you see it. When, you st when your clothes start to look like this, it's okay to make you like a cleaning. Like maybe these would be a pair of paint pants or something like this um, or cleaning pants. But yeah, these got to come out of my wardrobe. 
these gotta go with the uh, cleaning towels because this, this is not my stee. Yeah, and so I don't have as much. Let me show you what I have left. All right, now this room is a mess, but these are all of the clothes that I'm gonna get rid of and mainly because I don't like them and then some of them just look dingy. Like this white shirt is it's pretty dingy. You can't tell on camera, but it's dingy. Or I have like pieces of clothing that have like a lot of lint balls. So I find that, you know, purging these items are gonna help me get my self dressed quicker. And then these are just some items that I have washed and they're hanging up and drying some loungewear these are the items that are going to be resold um this is like the zara collection so let's see this um set here i wore this once for my birthday it's a sequence set focus yeah and then like these tops all from zara And then just like some blazers that I, like I said, I splurged on. And they're still in style. Like pink is still hot this this spring and summer, but I don't really want to wear it. So I'm going to try to sell this while I can. Um, and then just want to show you my collection that I am left with. These are my bottoms here. Let me turn the light on so you can see. Okay. So these are the pants and shorts and skirts that I'm left with. And I don't think I need to buy any more denim. I do want to get a skirt, like a longer skirt. I have the midi skirt. I got this one from Target. But I want to get one that's a little bit longer because that's kind of a trend. And uh, kind of brings me back to like the early 2000s. And uh, yeah, that whole style is back. It's crazy. That really makes me feel old. Anyway, and then I have all of my jackets that I'm going to keep and all of my shirts that I'm going to keep. Now, I do want to show you over here. Okay, so over here, I um, started keeping my bags in this drawer. I just felt like it made more sense because um, I ran out of like storage and display space. So those are there and then the top drawer is like underwear and socks but in this drawer down here i have all of my athletic wear which i went through that also and i really want to buy new workout clothes i find that i like to go to, to the gym when i look like i'm ready to go to the gym excuse me as you can see i don't have a whole lot of stuff to wear to the gym like this is a jogging suit jogging suit a dress is back there and you can get these little these little um organizing things from amazon but yeah this is pretty much all the athletic wear that i have which is not a lot i don't i don't know where <laughs> where my workout clothes went okay yeah it's time to get some workout clothes so your girl can get back in the gym but I just want to show you how easy it is to disassemble this clothing rack. It has a hex key and I keep it behind the mirror in a plastic bag. And I also keep all of the bolts in that plastic bag when I disassemble it. But I'm going to show you just how quick this is. All right, boom. I'm starting with the top. Pop the top off. And then, like I said, make sure you keep all of the pieces in a Ziploc bag. And then boom, once that's done, I start with the, the foot of one side and two, the two holes in the middle, those just stick in. The side pieces are the ones that are actually connected with some hardware. And it's literally just as simple as this. You could break it down further and take the legs off with the wheels, but I don't do that because it just makes it easier for me to assemble it when I need to pull it out and use it. And I mentioned that you can store this underneath your bed or you can store it behind a mirror like I do. This mirror is from Ikea and I have it leaning against the wall, but it's secured to the wall at the top and the bottom. And it has a little space between the wall and the back of the mirror. So I just slide it on back there. And if I didn't tell you, you would not have known. 
make sure you subscribe because in my next video, I'm going to show you how I use my inventory checklist, my glow up guide, and I'm going to share with you the best places to shop for jeans if you are a girly with a gap in the back. Okay. All right. See you on the next upload. Later, boo.